right now. edition of the gold podcast where we'll be recording and interviewing a new band every month primarily discussing their recent releases as well as their influences some band history uh just trying to give you guys an in-depth deep dive into your favorite local bands uh to start out we've got uh vernon potts would you guys Hello. like to introduce yourselves uh real quick i'm al Oh, Al, <laughs> my name is Al Garrick Packett. I am uh, Al Germ Jerky. Casey Lerner. I'm Mr. Chad Tannins. Uh, I'm the Johnny Oak Skin Mom. <laughs> and I am Spike Nails, uh, co-owner of Midwest Gold Records and Management. And over here, I'm uh, Leroy the Seal, professional gremlin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, Vernon Potts. Uh, I guess to start out, let's talk about uh, how you guys uh, got these names. Who are you? Well, that's, um, a, that's just the name I was given at birth. <laughs> um, I mean, just that one. Not much to be said. About well, yeah, that. for a while I was just Chad Tannins, and then I thought, you know, that's not very respectable. Um, so now everybody calls me Mr. Chad Tannins, and if they don't, I have to correct them because. Yeah, I told this guy I wouldn't be in a band with him unless it was Mr. Chad Tannins. Exactly, like, I don't exactly. want to mess with a Chad Tannins, but a Mr. Chad Tannins has a little bit of oomph, you know? Yeah, you know, you get a Chad and it's more like a Chad, you know? <laughs> you don't want a Chad. You want a Chad, a Mr. Chad. Yeah, yeah. So that's where I'm at. Uh, I don't know. I wish I could have chosen my name. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say about that. Yeah, I guess that. Yeah, it's pretty better. complicated, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Casey. Yeah, you know my parents wanted a Macy, and uh, oh, surprise, surprise, they got a Casey. <laughs> you two gentlemen are both Al. Is that like uh, so? What's the what's we, the name there? Is that yeah, like we a, we are Al. Yeah. It's like uh, a sort of like first name, last name first sort of. Yeah, it's, culture. yeah, exactly. That's it's beautiful. Like, you know, most people have their last name last. We've got our last name first. Lyrically, I don't think really on any of the songs I really get too introspective at all. It's uh, a surface level interpretation based. So if you're digging for meaning, just stop. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you can find whatever you want in there, but, but if you it, do, just know. It's just you. Yeah, it's, it's not me. <laughs> it's just That's you. Magic. And isn't, yeah. that, isn't that nice though, sometimes? It's That's your meaning. You can take the song and be whatever you want to be. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You decide what you want the song to be. We did not decide anything about it. <laughs> just know that you're making it up. Yeah, it's just a bunch of BS. Yeah. <laughs> you're wrong and you're right. Yeah, 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 yeah. We, we were like, no songs over three minutes. And then we kept making them. Like, three minutes is kind of long. No songs over two minutes. So everything's right in your face, real fast, real, real to the point. Yeah. We're not dilly dallying. We're, we're, we're getting the music into your ears, and then we're leaving. Yeah, with with these two songs too, they're kind of like paired together. Where we had the evening song, which is about a minute twenty. It's kind of a fun rock tune, and we wanted to make an intro for that track. And the intro ended up being about two minutes, quite a bit longer. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Albion Rising track is about a Devin's lizard, it's our friend, uh, and found out his lizard was a female and was laying eggs. And, you know, that was pretty pivotal. We had to include that onto the track. Two. Yeah, all those, all those words you hear in the beginning is his voice. The whole interview, like, condensed down into, like, one verse, you know? So it's just him talking over himself, like, three or four times. I have to say, this two-track thing is probably my favorite thing on the album. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's, uh, it's a one-two punch, that's for sure. Yeah, it's kind of like a jab-jab, and then it's just a haymaker. Oh, the words like right out of my mouth. Yeah. I can't imagine, um, you know, growing up and hanging out with one of my homies only to find, you know, out that he was giving birth. 
Yeah. Yeah. Real. I, yeah. I was pretty terrifying. Like, real mind fuck. To tell you like that could have been yeah. an entire album, not just you know the one song. Yeah. We thought about it. That's for sure. But we were like, how I mean, many how many one minute tracks can you make before it's you know a couple of tracks? I don't think there's any <laughs> rules, man. No rules. Yeah. I mean, then we just have a prog rock album at that point. Yeah. 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 It's definitely a concept album. I mean, the world's yeah. your oyster when the sky's the limit. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Rock Honda is from Culture M48. Yeah. yeah. All of our production on the album, and he added a lot of uh, samples and sounds that kind of cohesively saved, kind of just wrapped everything yeah, up together. Yeah, brought it all together. And then we were listening to it, it was just like, what I feel it? like I'm in another space, man. Yeah, yeah. How did recording this album work out then? I'd like to know more about the process of putting this all together. It was us three. Well, the the former uh, individuals inside these bodies did it, but yeah, the, these three bodies last summer, summer of 2022, we just pulled up in that those rooms upstairs. I was ripping some bass. He was doing guitar. He was doing drums, and it all. We got all those bass tracks really tight, and then we just kind of kept adding stuff to it, layering it, mixing things around, seeing what worked, seeing what didn't, and eventually we came up with the final product. Yeah, I feel like uh, we tried to go in and not exactly have a whole guide map to each song, and then we kind of made it a rule that between the three of us that we would do two things on each track. Uh, Al's doing a lot of the lead guitar on a lot of the tracks, and then Al's doing a lot of the keys on a lot of the tracks. And I ended up making a kind of a synthesizer kind of rig, and a lot of other weird instruments. Uh, me and Al here did a lot of the vocals together, and just kind of shaped up to, uh, essentially it's a rock record at first, and when we started sending the files off to get them mixed and mastered, it turned into more of a art piece, if you will. What you hear at the live show will be quite a bit different yeah, yeah, yeah from the CD it so definitely takes it, on a new sorrow you know we drive a lot of influence you know, jam bands as well so live shows you'll hear us kind of improvising doing whatever and we have these noise sections that get pretty, pretty yeah I crazy. think so. and then there's also some dance tunes where mm -hmm. we do try to get people dancing and you'll, yeah. you'll hear those I, w I was gonna say I feel like the where you get the more of the psychedelic stuff that's not on the album is like during that noise yeah. bit where we're just like doing kind of whatever and it's send you through a fucking yeah. tunnel. Man, yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> tunnel to where? Who knows? Yeah. Uh, initially, it was going to be a four piece with Croc uh before he kind of relocated. And with him moving, we wanted to be able to replicate a lot of the sounds on the album. It's where we recruit. Mr. Chad Tannins, Phoenix Skill Mom, to do uh, some of the live playing. And that's where it's kind of changed for him. Uh, but we pretty much had one to two leads on each song and keys almost to the song to where it was appropriate to bring in uh, sex to kind of fill in some of those lead parts. Uh, and yeah, now I, I can't really imagine doing the, the songs without everyone together because it just yeah. sounds yeah. full as yeah. the five of us. Sometimes when I'm playing, you know, sometimes I don't always have something to do with my left hand. You will see my arm out here. It's not doing anything. It's waiting. Don't look at it. It's not doing anything. Look at these. You know? These are doing all the work. This is a placeholder. For sure. <laughs> For sure.